Osgood Schlatter disease, also known as tibial tubercle apophysitis, is a condition characterized by anterior knee pain due to inflammation of the apophysis. An apophysis is a normal developmental protuberance from a bone that provides an insertion site for tendons, in this case the patella tendon onto the tibial tubercle. It primarily affects children and adolescents because by adulthood the apophysis will fuse with the rest of the tibia. It is weaker than tendons and so is prone to injury. Osgood Schlatter disease is a stress or traction injury that occurs due to repetitive force being applied through the strong patella tendon onto the tibial tubercle, typically from movements involving leg extension, such as running or jumping, but also during growth spurts. The force can lead to small avulsion fractures of the tibial tubercle apophysis, generating inflammation and pain, and in rare cases, a complete avulsion of the tibial tubercle. Knee pain is the most common symptom, which is on the anterior portion of the knee, just below the patella. In most cases, it is unilateral, but both sides are affected in around 30% of cases. In general, it has an insidious, gradual onset with no trauma, and may initially be episodic, but go on to become continuous. The tibial tubercle itself can be tender to touch and may have some associated enlargement, which can be felt as a prominent lump. Males in particular are up to seven times more likely to be affected, and it is most common between the ages of 8 and 12 years in females and 10 to 15 years in males, which corresponds with their growth spurts. We've mentioned repetitive extension force but it's also more common in patients with poor flexibility in the quadriceps and hamstrings. A diagnosis is made clinically, meaning the history and physical exam are enough and no specific test or imaging are required. However, a knee x-ray can show fragmentation of the tibial tubercle and ultrasound can show cartilage injury at an early stage. Certain features point to an alternative diagnosis, such as a sudden onset of pain, especially after trauma, the presence of pain in other joints, systemic features like fever, an abnormal knee examination, or if the pain persists after rest or at night. In 90% of cases, the pain will subside completely within two years, but typically will settle in weeks to months. 10% of people will experience the pain into adulthood. Treatment involves primarily over-the-counter medication, such as paracetamol and non-steroidal anti-inflammatories like ibuprofen. Patient education on exercise modification and stretching, with physiotherapy being an option in persistent cases. Surgery is not typically needed, but in some cases, like complete avulsions, it may be done. In people whose pain persists or worsens, further investigation is usually required. 